Well, when a producer, say, or a director has a project that they're interested in working on, say, I want to work on a movie about a volcano that aliens are actually living in, and I have all these concepts about the eruption and the spaceships. When I come to you with that idea, what do we actually start with first? Do we start with a, a storyboard that I might have hired someone to draw, or do you guys actually work on that with me? Um, it goes several directions um, when we start on any project. You know, we could be given a script with no storyboards or anything, and we just have the beats that we go through and. We'll look at all the assets that need to be built, um, the characters, the environments, uh, we'll get those built digitally. And then uh, once we have the beats, you know, we sort of start staging out where we want to start you know, placing our cameras and such. Um, uh, sometimes we get uh, three words we work with, and like I said, sometimes we don't, and it's, uh, yeah, it runs the gamut. We, we really are our own department in terms of specialized workflow technologies and skill sets. A, a typical previous artist is really a journeyman of the film industry in that they're responsible for cinematography, lighting, modeling, texturing, rigging, a whole cacophony of disciplines that, that need to go into uh, what needs to be done for previous, including you know, editing, staging, blocking. You know, this previous is really a much broader um, category than uh, I think a lot of people uh, give it credit for. Mm -hmm. um... How, what is the turnaround time like? It really depends on the project. Commercials usually have like a couple week turnaround to prep, but a film could be anywhere from a month to two years, or in the case of Avatar, four years that Brad was on that. So it really depends on the vision and how much budget they have behind that vision. Yeah, given the time, we can take it to just about any level you'd like to see. It just depends on the priorities for the show and for the director. The director is the kind of person who merely needs to see action and blocking and rough editing, and then we can go through stuff very quickly. But if they'd also like to use it as, say, a pitch piece to get a project off the ground with the studio, we can bring a higher level of polish, run Magic Bullet, which is a color grading software, you know, to make it look like uh, acid wash or, you know, some, you know, a TV sci-fi show or whatever it happens to be uh, through the editorial process. You know, it, it's, um, it's a moving bar. You know, obviously it's connected to money and time and the amount of people that we can hire. Sure. And, and speaking of um, the crew that's working on, on a project, I know that varies depending on, on the nature of the project, but when someone hires you for a pre -vis, how many people would they expect to have working? Yeah, you know, it seems like our, our teams can go anywhere from four to eight people. Um, mm -hmm. Every once in a while you'll pop up to 10 or 12 if it's like some crazy schedule, but I think they are trying to figure out a way to get more revision cycles in there too, so sometimes having a you know, four to maybe six person crew, you get more out of your budget because you have time for the revisions and the director and you can get more creative exploration in there, which I think is at the source of what we do is exploring things. I think uh, as technology's progressed also, it's also helped us um, make things look better. You know, right now, you know, five years ago, the viewing engines of what we're trying to do, you know, they weren't as advanced, but now, you know, we have these viewing engines where in my, you know, we're getting real-time depth of field. The director can see, you know, what he wants to do more precisely before he shoots it. And we don't have to wait, we don't have to render it, we don't have to do any compositing, and he gets, he just gets what he wants right there. So, to, you know, it, it just helps it make it look better, faster, and it's, technology has helped a lot. <laughs>